How are you guys? Today we just got a new seat from Burke, the plug, and we're going to change it with my current seat, Lupina. First thing that you need to know is so the length of your seat and the length of uh, your previous seat just so you know where your seat bones are pretty much all the companies just uh, shorten it uh, shorten the front end just uh, take the measurements of that and also how tall is the seat so because usually also in the same company they may have a different from the bottom of the rails to the to where you sit on the cell so yeah we're just going to do that first. Just take the measurements where you know it's uh, the simplest uh, to take. So here I have 59.2. And cell height, it's 3.4. You can measure it from the end of the seat as well just just to make sure then so it's 84.8 when we uh, when we did that measurements now we just need to take the measurements of the of the new seat just measure so again from the rails to the top of the seat this one is 4.6. This it is one centimeters and two millimeters uh, taller than this one. So we would need to put our seat tube uh, um, seat post down a little bit. So we will need to change that as well. Um, so we can measure the. Now I have a 75.5. When we put our seat down, then we just uh, yeah, just install the other one. Eighty four and eight. So it's almost spot on. Okay. No. Oh, um, <laughs> so here's my first mistake. First mistake. First, I tried to um, uh, position the saddle, but the problem is we need to position the height of the saddle first because then also the length will change. So let's do that first. Okay. If you have a carbon seat post on a carbon frame, um, don't be afraid to hit it from the back and also the front before you try to uh, adjust the cell height because um, yeah, it will be easier. Li like you saw when I hit it a couple of times, it was pretty easy for me to adjust the seat. So yeah, uh, just as a, adjust the seat, um, adjust the height and then depends on what kind of frame you have just put everything in place so now we have the right height so first what you need to check are the rail positions uh, so the the rail height from rails to the top of the seat and then also you need to check the crank so from the middle of the bottom bracket to the top of the seat and also from your uh, handlebar um, I think the best way it is to uh, check it from the back of the seat because that's the um, yeah the, the position that really matters because from the back of the seat to the seat bones it's usually the same but now with the different lengths of the saddles most of the companies just shorten the front end. Hey guys, so this is just like a quick impression video regarding the uh, the seat. So it's a little bit wider uh, at the tip of the nose and I can feel that it's a little bit softer because this one is padded and the one that I had was, uh, was with a carbon look, so carbon finish. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if I like this one more or the Lupina, but yeah, if you're 
a lupina guy i think you shouldn't have any problems with this one unless your thighs are really like huge so yeah um anything other than that i think it's yeah it feels really good like the first thing when i sat on it um it felt that my bones were a little bit wider than the cities but now i got used to it and yeah, after i don't know 25 30 kilometers it feels okay but i will let you uh know more uh at the end of the review so like in a month or so or like 14 days cheers so yeah that's pretty much it if you have any questions if you think i did anything wrong let me know uh yeah everybody's learning so uh enjoy your bike rides guys and till next time and if you want to buy that seat just hop on our uh, website uh, we have it on our website as well it's a brand new seat from berk it's called ploch it's 250 millimeters long and 138 millimeters width so yeah pretty much it cheers